25 lap modified feature action here brought to you by SNR Automotive and Cooks Hardware. Joel Hall's number 29J will start inside row number one. Outside him will be Tyler Meeks at number 17. Row number two, the 18W, that is Scott Webb. And on the outside, number 39 belongs to Ryan Bartlett, David Rogers, number 44, Jeff Sykes, number 28, and row number three. Row number four, the R70 of Ryan Arbuthnot. And on the outside will be Billy Dunn in the number 49. Preston Forbes, the 45R, the 7MM of Mike Maresca are in row number five. We'll give you the rest of the lineup in a minute here. But ladies and gentlemen, stand up down in turn number four. Stand up down the front stretch. Wave your hat. Wave your shirt. Wave your hands. Wave your whatever you got. The modified driver is ready to wave right back at you here. Getting ready for 25 lap feature action. Number six to the inside, that'll be Nick Webb of the 27W. Outside him will be Cameron Black in the number 23. The number 26M of Mike Mandigo sits inside your seventh row and outside should be Jordan McCready, but McCready with mechanical problems, bad vibration in the car, so Jordan is loaded on the trailer. And then it will be the Garrett Rushlow, number 24R. 25 laps, Mike LeClaire, what do you say? We've got Jared Cook on the flag stand, and he lets him go green. Well, Jared Cook turns the ponies loose, and we go modified racing. One car slow right off the start. That is Joel Hall's number 29J, and he is rolling down the backstretch to the outside as they come down to score lap number one, and yellow flag is out on the speedway. So the yellow flag coming out as Joel Hall did not get started. As the field came around, scored lap number one. He rolled to a stop off the top of turn number two. Starting right on that front row, the TC roofing ride. John Hoover in 29J and a tough break for Joel Hall. Hall had some problems early. He started on the Sportsman and uh, had some issues with motor. And after that, they are. Well, track safety lights off. We get ready to go back to Greenville. Isaac will pull the FX Caprera Can-Am pace truck to the safe haven of the infield. Green flag is back in the air. Tyler Meeks right off the bottom. And wow, one bobble right in the middle of the field. That was the 44 of David Rogers. They're stacked up three wide down the back stretch. Battle for the number three spot. Ryan Arbuth not to the inside of the racetrack. He'll chase Billy Dunn and Tyler Meeks off turn number four. Meeks a little bit of a bobble off turn number two takes him down the back stretch. Billy Dunn looking right at his back bumper now as they swing into turn number three. David Rogers had a good run going. He got shuffled back. Ends up in the third position as they work off turn number four down the front stretch as they head to turn number one and two. Meeks right on the bottom of the racetrack. Dunn following him off turn number two. Now Billy Dunn's going to square it off half a groove lower. He'll drive down the back stretch trying to slide it over to the outside as they head to turn number three and four. Meeks right in the middle of the racetrack. Dunn this trying to to square it off a little bit lower as they come out turn before Billy Dunn's gonna be your leader. Dunn works off turn number two down the back stretch. He will go. Meek settles back to number two spot. Arbuth not third down into turn number three and four. Just likes holding on to the number four position as they swing through turn number three and four back down in front. They will work off the top side of the speedway. David Rogers gonna settle back in that next position, followed by Ryan Barlett. That is the Preston Ford number 45 R. Mike Moreska, the number seven machine. Moreska now looks to the inside of the fours, number 45, as they head down to the turn number three and four. One car slow top of the racetrack. Turn number two or three. He's headed back towards the pit area. That is. That'd be Scott Webb's number 18 that is headed back towards Pitter. He couldn't get a good view of it until he pulled off the top of the racetrack. Scott Webb's 18W are the best at what they do, and that front row is as stout as you ever seen as Billy Dunn and Tyler Meeks lead them back to green. Green flag will wave one more time as they exit turn number four and stack them up three wide as they come down the front stretch. 
run again. He's going to take him out turn number two. Look at Ryan Arbuth not drive to the inside of Tyler Meeks. Arbuth not takes over spot number two. Now he's got his work cut out for him. He's two car lengths back from Billy Dunn's exit. Turn number four down the front stretch. They will go. Arbuth not trying to close that gap. Then it's number 44 of David Rodman. Able to slide right back out in front of the Jeff Sykes, number 28. They'll bobble off turn number two. Sykes going to settle back one more spot. Moreska again trying to improve position. Mike Moreska just drove to the inside of Ryan Bartlett. Took that spot over. Now he'll work outside of Jeff Sykes off turn number four. Down the front. Moreska all the way to the outside of the speedway. Bartlett to the inside. And the meat of the sandwich is going to be Jeff Sykes in the three wide. Over in turn number two. And the number 70, or excuse me, the 28 of Jeff Sykes and the 39 of Ryan Bartlett are going to get together. Jeff Sykes is going to end up facing the wrong direction over in turn number two and caution right back out onto the speedway. Dunn gets a good start. He'll take the field through turn number two. Arbuth not a car length back side by side behind him. David Rogers to the inside of the racetrack. One car to the outside as they swing into turn number three and four. That is Mike Moreska making his way up through the field. Moreska switches lanes over here in turn number four. Comes to the inside of Tyler Meeks. Back up front, Billy Dunn will take him off turn number two down the back stretch. He will go. And the first two cars out in front now. Eight cars out in front of the field. Mike Moreska coming to the inside, as we said, of the David Rogers, number 44, as they work off turn number three and four, right behind Tyler Meeks. That is the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth as we watch up front. Dunn takes the field off turn number two down the back stretch. He will go a distance back to that second or third place battle. Tyler Meeks holds on to it. David Rogers wants it. Rogers in the lakeside property services looks underneath the Meeks racing at number 17 as they come off turn number four down the front stretch. That is the battle for third and fourth as Billy Dunn now will with a wide margin over the number 70, all of Ryan Arbuthnot. They'll work off turn number three and four. Cross flags will be out. We're going to be halfway home at the stripe. Halfway in, Billy Dunn looking for win number 52. Career win 52. Down the back stretch, he will go. Ryan Arbuthnot chases him. Meek settling back into that third spot, followed by David Rogers and Mike Moresco, who started back in the field. Moresco working his way up into the top five as they swing off turn number three and four. Moresco's not done yet. He'll go right to the inside of David Rogers. And Moresco's going to take over spot number four as he'll get in front of David Rogers down the back stretch. They will go. Your leader works off turn number four all by himself. Ryan Arbuthnot sitting up. 1.5 seconds behind as they come down the front stretch. As Billy Dunn continues to separate himself from the stout field of modified down the back stretch. David Rogers, as we said, settles back in the number five spot. He's going to try to hold that now into turn number three and four. He's going to have company here in a hurry as they work out turn number four down the front stretch. Moreska has that four spot. Scott Webb working his way back up after going to the pit area early. Webb holds on to the number five spot as they work down into turn number three and four. Keeping an eye on the field as they come charging down into turn number two. Billy Dunn on cruise control out in front of the field. Ryan Arbuth not second. Third is Tyler Meeks. Fourth spot belongs to Mike Moreska. The fifth position is David Rogers. He'll be followed by the, the number 18W of Scott Webb. Then it's a distance back to uh, the... 93 of Ryan Bartlett, 39, excuse me, of Ryan Bartlett as he's chasing Jeff Sykes in the number 28 machine. Then it's the 27 of Nick Webb, the 26 of Mike Mandigo, and the number 24 machine of Garrett Rushlow. So your leader kind of run into a little bit of lap traffic here if he gets any quicker down the back stretch. Billy Dunn scoring lap number 20, this time at the line, out in front of the field. Dunn, middle of the racetrack, comes right across the bottom side as he'll work off turn number four, lets it drift up, come to the line. Mike LeClaire is going to wave five fingers at him. Five fingers up, five more laps to go for your leader. Billy Dunn out of Watertown, New York, the Inner Grove Landscape Ride, or excuse me, Greenhouse Ride down to turn number three. Well, that lineup's going to stay the same all the way around the speedway. It continues to be 
Dunn, Arbuthnot bringing him back to the line. And the distance behind them will be Tyler Meeks. And then the Mike Moreska, number seven, the 44 of uh, David Rogers as they work down into turn number two. As they said, your leader is going to have lap traffic sitting right in front of him down the front stretch. They go to turn one and two. And Billy Dunn, three cars in front of him right now. Lap traffic is going to come into play as he works off turn number two down the back stretch. Dunn's got to be careful, Swerks into turn at number three. Ryan Narberth not trying to take advantage and close that gap. A parallel flags will be out, just two more trips around the speedway. Dunn up to the top side of the racetrack, working around the outside of some lap cars down the back stretch. He will go. He'll see the white flag this time. Ryan Narberth not going to run out of time, trying to reel him in. As they come out, turn number three and four, white flag will be waving for Billy Dunn. Robert now second as they go down to turn number one and two. Dunn continuing to navigate some lap traffic off turn number two, looking right at the back of Mike Mandigo's number 26 machine. He'll do it safely down turn number three and four. Dunn's just going to stay right in line as they come off turn number four. Checker flags will be coming out. Billy Dunn's going to score the win. Ryan Arbuth now will be second. Third spot will go to Tyler Meeks. He'll be followed by Mike Bereska coming back to the line. David Rogers will round out the top five cars. Scott Webb comes home next, followed by Ryan Burlett and Mike Mandigo. I thank Ellen Jean landscaping once again down track side as well. And Jeff Barrett is down in victory lane, and Billy Dunn is a happy guy. Career win number 51 here at can -Am for the big gun, Billy Dunn. Ready to climb out on the back side of the race car. Third time in a row for Billy Dunn, your Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 modified winner. <laughs> Billy, congratulations. You know, we talked last week here in Victory Lane. You said you just got to let each week come to you and let's see what happens with it. Boy, tonight this thing was on a rail. Yeah. Um, Mother Nature gave us uh, quite the track tonight, and we haven't been good on this kind of track this year. And we finally, uh, we finally just got freed up enough to where it wouldn't uh, car wouldn't push and bog the motor down. And I uh, got a few lucky breaks there, getting to the front before Ryan. And uh, once I got out front cleaner, I was really good. Now I got to ask you. I know probably earlier in the day you're looking at the weather; it was going to be hot and dry. And you're thinking dry, slick racetrack. And then, as you said, Mother Nature throws it in. How much work did you have to do to get this thing ready? Uh, we probably made uh, five or six really big changes after we scaled before we even left the shop just to get ready and uh, made some shock changes we normally wouldn't make tonight but I knew we uh, we had to do something because when the tracks like this we haven't been the best so uh, hopefully we found something for when it's like this. Yeah you got her dialed in it really seemed to run around the bottom real good and you were able to pass on the outside as well. Yeah um, the track for for the rain we had the track really is phenomenal uh, I didn't expect it to be this good at all it's it's smooth uh, it's racy top to bottom you can run wherever you need to so uh, hats off to them for not throwing the towel in at uh, 2 o'clock when they could have and getting the race in tonight. People you want to thank, Bill? Uh, Integral Greenhouse is uh, Bicknell Racing Products, uh, Integra Racing Shocks, number one speed equipment, um, and my crew. They uh, they work their tails off. Win number 51 now. 52. 52. So he's going to correct me every week now. 52. 52. That's got to feel good. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's pretty special. We've had some, uh, some pretty cool wins here, and uh, you know, it's been my home track and uh, watching race here when I was a kid to have uh, that many wins and have the opportunity to uh, race a car like this with a crew that I got is pretty special. All right, congratulations. Billy Dunn is going to be your Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Modified feature winner here this evening. Well, folks, as you can see all the way up on top at turn number four, they are beginning to roll the Winged Warriors out onto the speedway, the Empire Super.